nothing but the best is given to each and every family. To you, we say thank you. Thank you. 
from the sun of a heart. Yeah? Pick up one. So, who's our lucky contestant this afternoon? And how about there? No, no, no. 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 No, no, no.
We all know that she escaped. What we think that she tried to do? What did she do? Well, of course, bring us all here to. <laughs> all those days that she fought for freedom, she did everything. Not to be in the drum. <laughs> and of course, we all know that she brought us here today. Santi Thank <laughs> you. 
Even though we may not handle the service, we still reach out to those families because we understand that that not that, that emotional issues that we have. So that's a very important thing. But the, the spike that we are seeing, I don't know if it's a spike or a new way how to describe it, um, but we've got to be careful. We've got to call at all of Trinidad and have a wear a mask. I know at this point, I'm just talking to the camera here, but we've got to wear the mask, we've got to wash the mask. I call on funeral service. You have the guidelines. It is sent to every single funeral home in this country, Trinidad and Tobago. Adhere to those guidelines perfectly. It protects you. It protects your family. It protects your community. Adhere to the guidelines closely. Because people are rushing just to make a quick dollar, but it's much more than that that is in the Mr. This function today we we are celebrating both at our Trin City branch and our Grove Road in Trin City. Our Northern staff is up, up there having their part of the celebration. And here at Bell Grove Lane, two to six Bell Grove Lane at the corner of Coffee Street, um, they have the Central and the South San Fernando staff join us here. People from our Casket Factory, our Family Legacy Company, they are all here as we get together to celebrate this major milestone of 133 years. Why have you chosen to separate um, celebration? Cool. Day 19. 
uh, impact. We have plans for this afternoon tomorrow in Tobago that has been shelved. Um, the unveiling, well, the weather impacted the unveiling of the fact that um, I don't want to say what it is just yet, but we will plan another day for that when we have a little better weather. And, uh, but we will be there to celebrate that and to put our map down in history. Um, and, and the mayor mentioned something that I had not quite quite recognize. At the time, there were only certain people doing businesses in Sanguina. So I'm going to put that, I'm going to have that research on my people and put that into the history books of the as well. Because that stands as a significant marker as well for the future for where we have that. Same time, 120 years later, five generations, and my daughters and my sons in into our sixth generation. You said you are passing the battle on. Would you care to reveal who your heir apparent is? You are the provincial of law. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I have three daughters and two sons. And they are all educated. I have one is a nurse in Florida, another is a teacher in New York. And I have missed my daughter Mercedes. You all, all know her. Yeah, I know her. Yeah. She is one of the live wires here. I have my son, Christian. He is in all the decors you see around. And um, I also have Kes, my 10-year-old fireman, who, who, who joins our board meetings, etc., and gives his views, etc. 10 years? 10 years old. Wow. So, so everybody being prepared for, for the transition as I step And when I step out, you see, let me be there. They say I was doing the embargo for it. So, so I'm stepping out of active service, but I'm not really going to be in the profession helping to build it into a genuine profession. I would anticipate six to nine months in, in this coming year here. Six, six to nine months. Forgive me this. Yes. So that, that uh, within six to nine months, we should have that act on the, book, on the books or sent it by the president and, um, and a committee. And there will be, on that committee, there will be funeral directors as well as people appointed by the government to serve in the group. A very nice balance as, as we work together. Thank you so much.